you're the shooter, okay? You get up here, you get down here, okay? On, you're gonna sprint, act, 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 and then dive to the rim, okay? When he, you're gonna sprint out here, touch the three-point line with your foot, and then go screen for Elon, okay? You're gonna sprint out over here to the white line, okay? All right? Everyone understand what we're doing? You're gonna get Elam a jump shot right over there. I'm sprinting out and touching. No, no, you're gonna pass it to Elam. Okay. He's gonna get a jump shot right there. Everyone know what they're doing? And then you're gonna finish, okay? Five rules, the same five rules, right? Okay, everyone see how it's simple as can be. Now, let me define the details. Did you see what Josh did? Show us how you started the play, Josh. Who's he signaling? He's signaling the defense. We're running a play now. What are you, stupid? <laughs> hey, we're gonna run a play now. So what we do, remember what one of our seven fundamentals is? C. Okay, so all of our guys are going to see this. As soon as that happens, that's our signal. As soon as the referee hands the ball, that's our signal. Okay, everyone got that? Well, okay, let's just one at a time. Okay, we understand that. Okay, now, here's another thing. Trey, guard Elam. Okay. I'm guarding you, okay? Stronger, bigger, he's gonna kill me. He's bigger than you, okay? Notice what he did, he bent down. All of our guys, as soon as they set up in their positions, and you can look at every Davidson tape, you will see hands on the knees. Why do we do that? Try to get into my body. He can't get into my body because I've taken that space. I've attacked his space just by setting up. If I stand up like this, get into my body. He's got me. Plus, if I start down, I'm quicker. So I always start hands on knees, bent over, looking at the ball. Everyone understand that? Okay? Now, how many times have you seen a guy take the ball out of bounds from the referee and his players still aren't in their positions. Happens all the time. So we got to get you to get your timing right. So we know it's going to be the takeout man. I'm the takeout man. This is the way I take, whistle blows. I don't, a lot of guys will go over here like this, right? That's not me. Here's what I do. Whistle blows, I walk out backwards. By walking out backwards, I'm slower. They can set up, plus I see what defense they're in, and I see maybe there's a mismatch problem. I think the biggest thing you must understand, get to your spots, see, and your first act must be a threat. Your first act must be a threat. So you know you're going to pass the ball over here, okay? So you got to go here, here, what is the defender going to do? He's going to jump, it's going to open up the passing lane for that, okay? You, first act, look like, hey, I want the ball, I want the ball, and all you're doing is setting yourself up for an angle on a screen. You are making it look like you're taking his screen, and all of a sudden, whack, you come over here, okay? You can step back and like look for a pass here, you could go here, but you're going to get that screen. You're the safety net. Okay? All right? I was asked, what does this guy do? It's a jump shot play. Guess what happens after missed jump shots? Run out. You're running your butt out to the top of the key to prevent a run out. Okay? okay. We understand what we're doing here. Let's look at the action. You can step off, Trey. Okay? All right? Your ball. This is great. This is great. Good. Get down on your knees. Okay, you see the play. Okay, now let's run a, another play. 
I'll finish with this one. 